Uh, hello everyone, I'm here in with another LEGO Brickheads review, and this one is on the Avengers Infinity War ones that were just released. You wonder, like, how did you get these early? Well, I got them at my Closing Down Toys R Us, and well, Closing Down at the time of this video, well, whatever. So, they have available for this one is Iron Man Mark 50. Thanos, Star-Lord, and Gamora. So, on the front of the box, you see Lego logo, Brickhead's logo. Picture of the set that comes within. And you see the age group, set number, name, and the amount of pieces. And you see Marvel logo, the names of them, and the numbers that each one are. And on the sides are the... are kind of silhouette pictures, in-film pictures of them. And on the back is how you put it on the bases and advertising all the brickheads. And also on the tops of each one is actual size of the chest pieces. Which of course is kind of interesting and different. Yeah. And on to only one of the booklets. Well, the back parts are kind of the same. You have it on the survey. Pieces including each one. And then after Lego Life with Iron Man there. And then what's interesting is that it's one full page with all the briquettes of the wave in it instead of two pages. Kind of interesting. But then, yeah. And now on to the sets. First off is Iron Man Mark 50. And he which looking pretty cool. It's really cool he looks. But interesting to note is that the brickheads this in this line of which have no printing for the base pieces compared to like in the last ones which were series two and one and season all and all but now they are not doing that if anyone knows why that is tell them in the comments so for the Iron Man one here as you see but using a lot of like a dark tan instead of gold, which I kind of don't understand why. But although the last one did have some yellow to meant to be the gold, but whatever. And as you see, it has the nice printed pieces to be some of the armoring and all. And the face of which, just about like the last one. But it also has a like large cannon-like thing. I'm not sure what that is. But on the back is, on his back are the, like, extra boosters for him to, like, fly through space and, that's, and whatnot. And so now a little comparison is with the 2016 Civil War one, or 2017 one. As you see, they're all kind of the same, but has a more flat arm compared to bent ones and doesn't have the like side attachment ear like pieces and the faces are kind of this similar but with the like slope for the forehead and yeah but also similar chest builds and all but yeah so that is it with him and now on to uh, star lord so the face, or the, the helmet sculpt built, which I think is built pretty good. Like a nice printed piece and the red pieces for the eyes and all. And then a little print piece for the jacket or coat. But missing a Walkman, which of course is a, the big thing for him. And on also has the two blasters like the minifigure versions have. And on the backs of his legs are little binocular pieces to act as his jets. And, and of course, like the hair that is sticks out from there, at least sculpted or done pretty well, kind of well captures it. And uh, what else is that? But at least good grippling details on the back, as well as on the sides, kind of similar to last Iron Man's, and yeah. And next up, continuing with the Guardians of the Galaxy theme being uh, Gamora, 
also built pretty goodly, but with a 2x4, or 3 tile, with a little bit of a printing on there of what she has in the movies, and but also some extras to the side to be like bangs of the hair, but also good tech, it's not techniques for the hair, or like with some black with some pink highlights. Well, why pink? Because on the films, it looks more red. But at least pink ones kind of work. And also her chest piece also kind of well captures it. But on the back of which, they're like Nexonite shield pieces. And the like, well, in brown and the uh, black shortened uh, curved pieces. And yeah. But also a lot of the like small chisto pieces, which of course quite nice. And then last but not least is the main villain to all of the Avengers being Thanos. He's a lot of purp good purple pieces, which of course is not the most common color in Lego, but also to note is one of these, I forget which, does have a little teal piece inside of them, or in them, which is kind of interesting. So some of the colors that we don't see very often from Lego, but at least good to see that around in these. And as on his back, a bit of the like coat, part of the coat that he's wearing. And the arms of which kind of similar to the Hulk's, at least this one to be like a fist there. And the other hand of which is him holding the Infinity Gauntlet. And a good tile piece to represent all the infinity stones on it. And as you see, in his lower mouthpiece represents the like prongs of his chin and all. And uh, which would have been cool if they like built the like helmet and stuff for, for him. And yeah. And so now, on to with the final verdict. Done. Okay, so final verdict. A oh, whoop. So the overall verdict being, I think these are pretty good, pretty cool brick heads. It's, but like, why Iron Man? Why not get like a uh, uh, Black Panther or any of the, of the other Avengers? But you know, whatever. At least this one's still a cool one. And if you're so hot hyped up for Avengers Infinity War, then go out and get these ones. And that's it with this video, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.